We are back with a brand new section, part of speech tagging, identifying words. Here we will discuss part of speech, tagging and chunking. Let's get started with the first video of this section, introducing part of speech tagging. Part of speech tagging is the process of assigning a category tag to individual tokens in a sentence. In NLTK, taggers are present in the NLTK.tag package and it is inherited by the tagger I base class. Let's consider this example to implement POS tagging for a given sentence in NLTK. So you can see in the output that it is tagged as a preposition, is as verb, a as definite article, and so on. We can implement the tag method in all subclasses of tagger I. In order to evaluate tagger, tagger I has provided the evaluate method. A combination of taggers can be used to form a backoff chain so that the next tagger can be used for tagging if one tagger is not tagging. Let's see the list of available tags provided by Penn Tree Bank, which you can find at this website. NLTK may provide the information of tags. For instance, let's type nltk.help.upenn underscore tag set in parenthesis nns. You can see that it provides information about the NNS tag. Let's see another example in which a regular expression may also be queried. In the next line, continue writing nltk.help.upenn underscore tag set vb dot asterisk. Here are the different regular expressions queried. Now here's an example that depicts word sense disambiguation achieved through POS tagging. Here, in this sentence, bear is a verb, which means to tolerate, and it also is an animal, which means that it is a noun. In NLTK, a tag token is represented as a tuple, consisting of a token and its tag. We can create this tuple in NLTK using the str2tuple function. Now let's get the tagged word at the zeroth position. Similarly, the tagged word at the first position is nn. Let's consider another example. As you run this piece of code, you will see that the sequences of tuples can be generated from the given text. Now consider this code. After execution, you will find that it converts the tuple, that is word and POS tag, into a word and a tag. Now we'll see the occurrence of some common tags in the tree bank corpus with these lines of code. And here's the output. In the next cell, add these lines of code to calculate the number of tags occurring before a noun tag. We can also provide POS tags to tokens using dictionaries in Python. For this, simply import NLTK and then define the tag. Call the tag variable. Now we tag beautiful as adjective. Similarly, boy as noun, read as verb and generous as adverb. Now if we check tag, you will observe that we have successfully created a tuple containing word and POS tag using dictionaries in Python. This brings us to the end of this video.